In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. So there's half-truths everywhere going on right now. You really can't go to priests for advice. I know that's sad. You have to pray for the, to the Holy Ghost mostly and use kind of your brain. I know uh, there's this one priest at the CMRI, and they really do give... Um, you know, their advice is hit or miss. Sometimes it's spot on, but sometimes it's hit or miss. So if you're not getting what you need from your local parish, and you think, well, they're traditional, so if I go to a traditional priest, he'll give me the he'll give me the truth. Just, even if he's not, you know, with my faith, he'll at least give me some common sense. Well, that's not always the case. Because a lot of these priests, they have um, ulterior motives, and their motives is to... Um, get people into their cults. That's how they make their money. So if they think that, they're going to do anything to try to feed you advice that's going to be benefit them, even if they got, you know, the traditional, if they're not with your faith. So I would say going to schismatic priests is not going to help you. That includes marriage prep or marriage uh, books or whatever. And, and all that, it's really not going to help. You have to pray the Holy Ghost um, because it, you know, when I was in the cult, you know, the CMRI, they said all sorts of things to me that I uh, tested with the faith and it was totally incompatible, completely incompatible in regards to the marriage and other things. So don't, don't go there for advice. They'll probably just suck you in like they do to Archbishop Vigano, you know, with the SSP, they'll suck you in and do into schism and feed you all sorts of half truths, and it's just not going to benefit you right now. So I'd say we're in a kind of a cru crucible of suffering right now, so to speak, where we're being tormented from inside and outside our homes, our churches, our work, uh, finances, relationships, whatever else. I mean, people can't cancel each other fast enough. If you say something in your parish. That's an opinion, but people disagree with it. And you've been going there to daily mass for years. They won't hesitate to just throw you away. And that's just kind of how the world is right now. And American men, especially men, having serious faith problems. And I, I kind of think that women will stick to the faith more. Remember, there's more women at the cross than men. But not necessarily, because remember, the thief converted and the soldier converted with the spear. So that's not always true. But there are more women that followed our Lord all the way and were faithful. And I think this time is going to be that way, too. You're going to see a lot of women that are more faithful to the passion of the church than even the priests themselves. And it's going to shock and scare us. But like our Lord was saying to me, Anna, many of my clergy will fall in this time many that we think will be completely faithful and solid our lord is crying he's crushed many of the faithful many but especially many of his priests will fall from the faith during this time so hang on hang on to your rosary hang on to the church what's left of it and let's suffer with our lord and our lady on the cross i was just thinking i would love to see the Stations of the cross with Our Lady carrying the cross and Our Lady being crucified. Remember, I saw that vision of her crucified, pregnant, and the soldiers slashed her belly, and out came the cross, Our Lord crucified on the cross. I just think that's so, you know, it's so, uh, you know, um, that vision of her, you know, of her love, her sacrificial love, it's so amazing. But uh, we have to live as though we'll never see the promise. Kind of like the the prophets. Of, the promise mean the second come the heir of peace. You know, that promise that hasn't yet been fulfilled. Not the promise of our Lord. That came already in the sacraments. We have to live as though we will die never seeing the promise. But we have to live as though the promise is coming tonight or today. So we have to live in this wonderful time the way, way we're doing it. And I want you Pray for all those considering abortions today that we can stop that. We've got the Our Lady, we've got the Rosary of Life here. Um, and uh, I forgot what I was going to say. It had something to do, oh yeah, the Station of the Cross of Our Lady. Instead of Our Lord having Our Lady on all the stations, doing the stations. I just love that. I, I'd like to see, I don't know, you probably have to have an artist render that. 
because it's like it's truly the seven stations of you know the seven sorrows of mary on the way of the cross